a very warm welcome once again my name is alok shrivastava and i welcome you once again to network nuts youtube channel the warm welcome is because the weather in delhi is going hotter and hotter day by day so what's in this video apart from the hot weather in delhi i got a beautiful lancer evolution on my desktop wow the machine looks beautiful so how much is the bhp for this machine this machine has got a awesome bhp of uh, somewhere around 240 bhp of sheer power wow that's great that is amazing is isn't it 240 bhp approximately zoom it goes like this but does the bhp has got anything to do with my video obviously yes my dear friends obviously yes in this video i am going to show you how to calculate your hard disk bhp now that sounds crazy man alok has gone crazy why we have got a bhp for hard disk never heard of this what's the idea very simple friends very simple think of it you are an administrator and you have a server it's catering some application and gradually down the line your company strength increases the number of employees increases so the request on the server will definitely going to increase now the clients are complaining that uh, the response time is more it's getting more time for the request to be catered by the server now you are in a fix what to do there now uh, commonly we you have got a couple of options that you can do you can increase the ram that's great that's again a good option i don't have any issues regarding this you can uh, have a high speed nic or you you can do nic bonding i don't have any issues regarding that that's great you can also increase the swap that's again a very good idea i don't have any issues regarding all these things but what are the chances that your hard disk is not able to cater or not able to respond to that speed the speed at which the requests are coming might be your hard disk is now getting down un under the burden the hard disk is an old one and it is not able to cater to that much of request per second or per millisecond now the point is that how can I calculate I can increase the RAM I can add a new NIC some gigabit LAN card I can increase the swap but ultimately they are getting catered by the hard disk so what if the hard disk is not able to work at that IO how to calculate that that is the basic idea behind this particular video there is ideally a saturation point for each and every every hard disk that after this particular amount of request per second the hard disk cannot take any more request that sounds something new wow never heard of this but how to calculate that it's a very simple thing the f uh, first thing first you need to have a sysstat package installed on your machine so make sure you install this particular package because I'm actually going to use IO stat command and IO stat command is a part of the sysstat package IO stat so how to calculate this let me show look ideally you just need to uh, remember a formula USA USA what is USA it's not you the USA as we know U is actually the utilization or your saturation point so highest it can go to one or if means if your hard disk U value is is going near to one or one it's it, constantly continually it's a time to change your hard disk then what is s s is actually a combination or a add addition of your total read request and total write request obviously these are the two kinds of requests any hard disk can get so it is actually uh, addition of the total read request per second and the total write re request how to find out i'll just show you then what is a a is actually your arrival rate arrival rate means the speed per second speed at which the request is coming that sounds good so I just need to make sure that the U should not be reaching one constantly or continually on my hard disk there can be spikes or bursts. that is not an issue 
but it should not continually go near to the one if it is going u value is going near to the one means dude it's a time to change your hard disk and a new one and a better one how to check it out so i have a different machine here for you for this video so i just give the com the command here i start let me do it again there i'll just try to hit it once more there is uh, actually there's a connection drop there let me try to hit it again let me try to hit on 33 there are a couple of things actually I uh, I don't actually know what is the problem so if you just allow me I'll just try to uh, check it out I'm just doing a pause here just a moment so the problem has been fixed so here I am I'm, I'm now connected to a different machine on that machine just give this command io stat hyphen x slash dev slash sdu1 means I'm trying to get the io records or the io data of the machine and in, onto a frequency of one second so this command will continually give me the output after every one second it, it will just keep on refreshing so I'm just looking for some higher value I, I can press a control C here or I can just again give the command and wait for some higher values there because I don't know how much load is there on the server so, so it will keep on giving you the load value you can see there all are coming to one that's not actually a good for us so I'll just try to open one more terminal and try to ping this machine so I do a ping sorry ping 192.168.0.222 sorry it's, tri it's triple two and l let's see if some activity is coming up here let me do a control C and try it again that's great some values are coming up here I do a control C here so if you see here I'll do a control C here also so I, I just captured the highest values here so the write per second is this the average read request is this and SVCTM value is actually your arrival rate the average service time average write request and average read request your average read request what to do now just open up your calculator here it is add the average write request and average read request so in my case it is 52. 58 plus 23.97 23.97 that's good multiply it by the arrival rate or the average service time I do a, a multiply by 4.39 that's great and then divide it by 1000 divided by 1000 as the values are here in the milliseconds here it is so here I got a value of 0 0.33 or 34 if I round it off it means my hard disk is now working is getting a utilization of 0 0.33 and max it can go to 1 so there is still a very big scope that the hard disk can cater or the number of IOs that it can handle so if this value is near to 1 say 0 0.80 0 0.90 or 1 constantly or continually then dudes it's a time to change your hard disk so it's very simple formula I'll just write down here I'll open my machine actually that will be good don't rely on the remote machine here it is so it's you just make it fast because of the time for for the video you is your your uh, AVG RQ value plus write per second value multiply by your SVCTM value the arrival rate and then divided by 1000 that's it so this value should be less than 1 or lower than one if if this value your u value in in my case what I had shown you my u u value as per these three parameters here the 
read request write rec uh, your request if this is going this 2.3952 and the your uh, I think that goes down somewhere else so if this value is going near to one constantly then it's a time to change your hard disk so this is the basic idea behind the video I'm sorry for the the, in, uh, the inconvenience or the small hiccup there so I hope you like this your you like this video and see you again soon with how to increase the BHP of your hard disk bye see you God bless